What's up guys, it's Brian here, and today I'm bringing you guys another custom minifigure showcase. Obviously last week the finale of Obi-Wan Kenobi premiered on Disney+, Plus, and I really enjoyed the finale. The show overall has a couple flaws, but I think the great moments of the show were very, very good. And that's pretty much my simple thoughts on the Kenobi show as a whole. But I do want to show you today my custom Darth Vader from the finale of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obviously, he gets half of his helmet ripped off by Obi-Wan during their big duel. I saw someone on Instagram make a custom of this, and I thought to myself, I have to give this a try because it is such a cool moment, such a powerful moment, and a fairly easy custom to do. It's just a little bit destructive. So without further ado, let me show you the custom that I have made for Darth Vader from the finale of Obi-Wan Kenobi. And so here he is, my custom Darth Vader from the finale of Obi-Wan Kenobi. The only thing that really changed with this Darth Vader is obviously the helmet. I had to do some destructive work on the helmet. I made a separate Bricklink order. I ordered three of these Darth Vader helmets. They were about a dollar a piece, but I wanted to make sure I had some wiggle room in case I really screwed up one of them and had to do it over again. But I think this ended up coming out really, really good. I do have to give credit where credit is due. This custom is not entirely original. It wasn't entirely my idea. It was from Ultimate Lego Brickopedia on Instagram who made a custom of the Darth Vader from the Kenobi finale. And I think his came out much better than mine. However, I was inspired by this Instagram post to make my own. And so I got my push pin and box cutter and started getting to work on this helmet. But I have to give credit where credit is due. So thank you to Ultimate Lego Brickopedia for the inspiration for this custom and showing me that it is indeed possible to make a good looking uh, torn up Darth Vader figure. But it's pretty simple. It's really just the helmet that had to have some changes under undertaken to it. And I just kind of started with the eye, with the eye hole and pushed through with a push pin and started just shaving away and took a box cutter sort of shaving away as well. I also had to really get into some of the um, interior of this helmet. You can kind of see what this looks like without a figure underneath it. It does cut all the way through to the bottom, which I wasn't sure I would have to do, but just it ended up coming out better that way. I had to shave out some of the inside as well. It's kind of hard to see, but I like the way that, that the detail came out. It came out all rough and scratched up, and that's exactly how I wanted it to come out. Now, of course, I, it's not a perfect fit onto the figure because of the way that this newish, new, I'd say new, it's been around since 2015, this Darth Vader helmet, uh, the eye is not lined up with the, with the eye socket on the helmet. So it's kind of a bit of a letdown because that's just the way the Lego designed this helmet for some reason. I was thinking about ripping up one of my old classic Darth Vader helmets, but that was gonna hurt a little too much. Even though I do have quite a few of those, maybe I'll try it at some point, but I'm not too keen on ripping up a classic Darth Vader helmet. And additionally, the helmet had to be, or the head had to be slightly off center so that I could get the eye detail right into place as well as showing some of the mouth, just like in the actual show. This is a little bit more of a straight on view. You can see the eye, but not the mouth from straight on, which is kind of what I wanted to show a little more. So that's why I have it a little bit centered like that so that you can see the mouth detail right in there. And I think this came out really, really good. Now, I do have a couple other Darth Vader heads just to show what they look like, what this helmet looks like. Starting with this one, this is the classic 2010 burned Darth Vader uh, figure. And this is kind of what I was also basing it on because the in the show he screams Obi-Wan, so I wanted to have a little bit of an open mouth design in there, which again, it's not entirely centered. So like kind of off, off center just a little bit. Put this helmet on and the eye kind of peeks right through with the mouth right there. And he can be shouting, Obi-Wan, just like he does at the end of the show. Spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't seen the show yet, but it's been out for well over a week at this point. I also brought in the Christmas Darth Vader because I this is the one Darth Vader that I have this head. So if you wanna use this head to show through, even though it's not totally accurate to the show, he just, he's not really like, he doesn't have the white look like he does in Return of the Jedi. He has more of the burned Anakin look that we were familiar with from Revenge of the Sith. However, I think this custom came out really cool, and he can go up against Obi-Wan Kenobi. I threw together this Obi-Wan custom very quickly. It's just Kaede Mundi's body with Obi-Wan from the Duel Mustafar and the hair from the Medieval Blacksmith, which actually, this isn't too bad of a custom either, even though I threw it together in like five seconds just for the purpose of this video. But you can have the two of them square off in their 
final duel against uh, each other in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. So that's going to just about do it for this custom showcase. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of this Darth Vader in the comment section below. I would advise against trying it, especially if you're younger without some parental supervision. I am surprised that, my, uh, that I have not drawn blood during this uh, custom because it was very nerve-wracking. Also want to show you the collateral damage because I did have to use a figure to hold the Darth Vader helmet with. Uh, this is the minifigure that I used. I just kind of threw together some pieces I didn't care about, and this head, it's this, it's kind of scratched up, and it's not going to work anymore as a minifigure head. So shout out to this minifigure head for uh, taking the uh, taking the fall and sacrificing itself for this Darth Vader head. So again, thank you very much for watching. Be be careful if you decide to make this custom of your own because it is a hazardous uh, a hazardous undertaking. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed, leave me a comment down below, and be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks again for watching. This has been Brian from Watermelon Studios. Peace out, guys.